Okay, I've been kind of busy, and I should have put up another video before this, but I wanted to show you more about the Stifler Loop. I was kind of hoping to see somebody working with it out there, but I get the feeling everybody thought it's a big joke. Let me detune this thing so that the lights go out, or at least dim up. Let me show you what we've got. Here's the output of the generator. It's going into the end of a resistor that measures 1.3 ohms. I've got my two scope probes across it. And here's the ground here, not connected to anything. And I go into an L3 coil. This is just for measuring the differential. Into an L3 coil into a clip lead that goes around the stifler loop. Now it does not it does not touch any part of the circuit. What we have here is an entire diode ring with this board on the end of it that has, let's see, it's got two, four, six, eight, ten. It's got twelve white LEDs. So let me go ahead and tune this thing for you. We'll go back up here and tune it. And there we've got the output. Now you granted there is coupling, capacitive coupling, from this clip lead into the ring. But what's also happening is that ring is recirculating the current. Where is the current going if it's not being recirculated? In other words, if the current isn't staying in the circuit, then it's got to have an output somewhere, an antenna, a mass, something like this to counter it. And because all of the diodes are in the same direction, and I think there's 14 of them here, they're all in the same direction, a big loop. This is not an AV plug. This is actually a loop of diodes that's exciting those 12 white LEDs with just a coupling of this clip lead laying around the circle. So anyway, that's just a short video. What I'll take and do next time is show you how it can take and charge a 450 microfarad capacitor uh, in practically no time at all, more like about 20 seconds. And then you can keep discharging it, and it almost instantaneously charges back up. But anyway, <clears throat> this should be enough food for thought now. Uh, the capacity between this, this little clip lead wire around here and the diode loop, stifler loop, is, come on fellas, it's minimum. It's minimal. So, we know, or should know, that the current is not coming from here into the loop and then leaving the loop. The current has to be circulating around the loop. Uh, any questions on it, I'd be happy to answer them. You know my... Uh, email from a couple of videos back. But anyway, I hope this it starts some interest and somebody wants to try it. I think this is a pretty simple way to do it. The input is sine wave, 25 volts peak to peak. We got 12 super white LEDs. They have a drop at 2.7 volts each. The diodes are 1 in 4148s with a forward drop of about 0.75, reverse uh, voltage of 100 volts, and let's see, I use the Vichy diodes. So anyway, uh, finally got one up here, and it's simple enough to see how it's put together. So thanks for watching.